Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. And I ran into some strange stuff last night. I think it had to do with Mercury retrograde, which is maybe starting to clear up this morning. Um, I, was, uh, I was dealing with the Martian bacterial colonists of Earth. And um, uh, I, I came in contact one more time with someone they call the Overlord. And um, I had some questions about uh, Mercury retrograde. And the answer that I got was need to know from the quote unquote Overlord. So I know there's something going on with Mercury, uh, the planet Mercury. A few years back, I ran into something about the uh, microbes. At that time, I didn't know they were the Martian bacterial colonists of Earth and an alliance with the, the demon realm, the negative alien uh, astral beings. And um, I kind of discounted that because I haven't run into it much lately. But, but during Mer Mercury retrograde uh, yesterday and last night, I did run into it again. So... There may be some of that going on uh, during times that we would consider to be uh, astrologically uh, adverse to us. Um, so the question I had about Mercury being retrograde, uh, the only response I actually got was that when Mercury is far away, they said, I don't know what that means during retrograde, um, then the Martian bacterial colonists, you know, they kind of lose it. They kind of freak out. And, um, and they, they come up with all kinds of emotional neg speak and so forth, apparently, uh, from time to time during, um, um, during a retrograde like that. Um, said, so I, I, the question in my mind is, why is that? What is it about Mercury that, that helps the Martian bacterial colonists to cope on an even keel with life on Earth? Um, and, and that brings me in mind of something else that I came into contact with last night. First it started with the crystalline entity in the, you know, the, what do you call it, the, the little areas of, like... Inside the brain, there are there are little areas that are filled with fluid, and uh, they're not they're not they don't have brain cells in them. They're just filled with fluid. And uh, in those, you know, on the left top side of my head, I noticed one from time to time where there's an entity that um, I call a crystalline entity, right? And it's so sweet. It's a very high pitched voice and goes on about things and but however last night it was saying you know we we uh we can't be like this forever we have to expand outward ever ex greater expansion and finally i got it that i was talking to an immature bone cell in there and because they they flatten out and they get very large and long and flat and when they turn into bone you know and so i asked to talk to the bone cells themselves, and, and they said, in a very calm, quiet voice, they said, we don't talk much. <laughs> and I said, why is that? And they said, well, we're, we're, we've grown up now and settled down or something like that. Words to that effect, right? Um, and here was the young one. It was just going on and on. <laughs> and so I asked, you know, since there are different... Um, fluid-filled cavities like that in the brain, I, I asked if there were other uh, crystalline entities. Crystalline would be what bone is made of, but it is made of like um, a kind of crystal. Um, so it would be a crystalline entity, a very young crystalline entity <laughs> I've been talking to off and on. And, um, and, and I'm relieved to say human then, part of the human system, unless the human bones are maybe a different kind of organism. Is that possible? But they all come from the same DNA, right? So not possible. 
anyway, I got in touch with, over on the right side, there's another apparently um, fluid-filled cavity, but it was a slightly lower voice. And I said, why is your voice lower? And it said, um, I'm o a little older, like that. <laughs> and so uh, I don't know what to make of it. You know, I'm just reporting it. It's weird, but that's what I heard. And then... Um, it segued into a, an entity. Um, I said, what kind of entity are you? And it said, that would be hard to describe. I said, well, uh, this was intuition. I said, are you, are you gaseous, gaseous? Are you made of gas? And it said, yes. And so first I thought, maybe this, this is the, um, the astral matter that the theosophists talk about. And, and, and I said, what do you do? And it said, um, we control everything from which, you know, my interpretation would be um, maybe it's what provides the natural order of things. And then I began to wonder if there's a relationship between that gas, which is everywhere, it says, and mercury retrograde, but I don't have an answer for you about it. These are just like pre preliminary leads in a new ongoing investigation. Oh, oh, there was one other thing that happened this morning. It had to do with what the Martian bacterial colonists call the overlord in hushed tones. And uh, it was, I noticed today, it's apparently responsible for regulating telepathy, global telepathy right now. Uh, and I think that because last night I started talking to some other people about the Martian bacterial colonists and their alliance with the um, demon realm on the you know, global internet, the astral layers, and suddenly... Um, it issued a command, the overlord issued a command to the Martian bacterial colonists in my gut to, to cut off the telepathy, and then I could not hear anything at all. The, the overlord was entering, in my case, um, my energy field through the top right side of my head up here on the, on the right side. Um, I don't know if that just has to do with my particular energy field or if it's true, universally true, that that happens. Um, so, so I think the thing to do is to ask that demon not to, to tell that demon that you don't want to buy into global telepathy because the thing of it is when you buy into that, then it starts ratcheting up the primal like resonance of the um, Martian bacterial population in the gut, and it uses that um, that telepathy for its own ends. You know, it's better to be silent and to not be involved in this telepathy, especially since these negative astral beings are like. Um, whenever possible, whenever astrological conditions permit, are messing up the works up there. I think there will come the day when it's fine, you know, but right now, uh, especially during the Mercury retrograde or times that are, you know, big solar activity and a lot of stuff going on in the atmosphere, it's better to avoid that telepathy and just do your grounding work, I feel. Uh, there's Otherwise, there's just too much... As they say, too much hell to pay. <laughs> Yesterday there was this big event, and that's part proof of this this idea that I have that it's better not to do this. There was this big event early in the day, this big telepathic event in which somebody claimed that they were in jail, and and then suddenly, like they were obsessed by a demon, and there was this giant roaring thing going on. It reminiscent of the best uh, television horror movies, <laughs> and a bunch of people saw it. I didn't see. I don't usually see scary things. I see good things, but a bunch of people saw that scary thing. And the good thing is, they now 
uh, have an understanding, it was men, they now have an understanding that that it's really not possible to control the demon realm. So sometimes men enter into, you know, black magic agreements or Satan agreements or satanic rites and stuff like that with the notion, oh, I'm a big guy, I'm going to control the demon realm, right? And so, and so then there are, there are the big bads that control the small little demons and things that they generally see at the outset, and, and those guys will come around and especially as the black magic or sorcerer or shaman gets older, if he's been cutting deals with the Satan world with the negative alien agenda and his ki or chi or like life force starts to naturally be less and less as he gets older, then that's an opportunity for the negative alien beings to swoop in and steal into his body and and um, subvert his willpower to their own ends. So, so it's always good to understand your enemy, right? And not to assume that you can control them all the time, but instead look for the superior force. Look for the angel realm. Look for the beings of light and Christed love that are available to, to thwart these enemies of humankind. And then there are all the nature spirits and devas of the natural world which will, which will joyously swoop down to your ends if you can find yourself in nature. It's, it's an incredible display. They just go chasing after the demons and swoop them right out of the forests and out of the fields and back into the cities. Well, so enough stories for today. I'll talk to you all later. I hope you all survived Mercury Retrograde. Ha, ha, ha.